when I want to learn science, I have to learn science practically. That is why. Because always, when you hear something, you forget. But when you see, you only remember what you have heard. But when you do, you understand. There's a problem with physics education in Tanzania. At O-level, students are running away from physics. At A-level, the problem's even worse. This problem is not due to a lack of talent in Tanzania. It's due to a rote learning approach to teaching and cramming and regurgitation of that knowledge. The aim of the project of the Institute of Physics in Tanzania is to change this. To change this, we want teachers to teach using practical equipment and we want to change the methodology of teaching. When we have teachers who are not using appropriate teaching learning uh, strategies, who are not using appropriate teaching learning materials, the end product, that is the students, would not uh, be of the standard that is required. So, how do we go about changing this methodology? How do we go about getting Tanzanian teachers to use practical equipment? Well, first of all, we have to supply them with some equipment. The equipment is very simple, it's very basic, it's based on materials they might be able to source from around their local area. And the idea is not to be exhaustive in that equipment. We can never afford or sustain that project. But if we get them to use that kit and start to look around to see what equipment they can use to teach physics, then we are on to a winner. And uh, I've come up with this idea of a balloon car. It works on the principle of uh, Newton's third law of motion. The other thing we need to do is to change their approach. Are we together? Yes, is often chanted in many Tanzanian classrooms with little or no understanding. However, if we can get Tanzanians to start asking questions, to get the students to give the answers, rather than just saying yes or no to questions, then we can start to bring on the thinking in science education in Tanzania. What is happening when this one is pushing? Do you see? But when it's top, there's no water. David, now why, why are you timing from here and this road and not from the start? When this will open, what will you have Can you tell me, when is the mass of the balloon rocket the greatest? We are now on our fifth year of our project in Tanzania. Uh, for the first four visits, we concentrated on teaching the teachers who were already at the schools. All of these schools were in the Morogoro municipality and we have now taught all 45 secondary schools in Morogoro. We have taught a few satellite schools in the Umvamera Ungeta districts, but that's not our main focus. Uh, this year, however, we decided to change the way we did the project and now we are concentrating on the trainee teachers. The teachers' college in Morogoro has 117 trainee teachers studying physics in their second year at the college. This year we talked to those teachers and encountered a very enthusiastic response from them and we are looking forward to seeing the results of that teaching and change methodology going all over Tanzania when they're assigned their teaching placements. All teachers received 
a small kit of equipment based on balloon string, rubber, rulers, masses, springs, etc. And they will take that equipment with them when they go all over Tanzania. It's not just the practical equipment that we're trying to put across to the teachers. It is also the teaching methodology, and this is key. To this end, we give them eight teaching points which they must always think about adhering to when they are teaching. This is a complete change in their experience, not only the way of teaching, but the way I have been taught themselves. This concentrates on the practical being the focus, very small amounts of time being spent at the board, no rote learning, no are we together, no do you understand, but more what happens if, what will happen if I change this, what factors affect, these sort of questions bring on thinking. Uh, the pace of lessons needs to be increased and the physics must be correct. These are all points that teachers have to think about during their training and it is this change that is key to getting them to do useful practical teaching. First is that the experiment should focus on the lesson and the second is uh, minimum time on, at the blackboard should be used by the teacher and the, the teacher should leave the student to do the experiment themselves. And uh, the teacher should not tell the answer. The student, they have to find the answer themselves through the experiment they are performing. And uh, finally, the experiment should focus on the fund. Uh, telling directly the student the answers uh, will decrease their ability to think and they cannot be creative. So to me, the most important point among those points is the sixth point, which has been given that physics is a fun. When I go back to my school, I use the skills and the knowledge I got here to make the study easier by using the demonstration we, we learned in the course. This moment we practice, we do by action rather than the theory. We do have one equipment here in which we do use them in demonstrations, you know. Who is supposed to do the experiment? Mm -hmm. So if you need a case, what's the function, the role of the teacher then? To guide your direct the students on how to do the experiment. So what is the future for the project? Well, we now have an excellent model of teaching practice going on in Morogoro, but how do we get that to go all over Tanzania? To some extent, that is happening as the trainee teachers are assigned their placements. Myself, I have been a teacher so that I can go anywhere. I can work and bring them up so that the world of physics now can be explained to them. But we could accelerate that process by linking up with the young scientist Tanzania competition run by Maynooth University in Ireland. They have got 18 regions of the 25 regions of Tanzania involved in that competition and it is a possibility that in the future we were working with young scientists in Tanzania to take our project with them all over the 18 regions. The government does have some interventions. So the Institute of Physics intervention also is crucially important. And actually, I'm not, I'm not an expert in physics, but according to what my students say, after having experienced the, 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 the exposure done by the Institute of uh, uh, Physics personnel, really this project is very, very relevant and useful to our students and tutors as well. Yes, another benefit we have at this moment, we have our own practical equipment. Okay. Which could help us to do practical everywhere, anytime. Okay. Anytime? Yeah. yeah. Anywhere, yeah. anytime. Yeah. 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 Another concept is creativity. Creativity? Yeah. Yes. Because we have learned different ideas and they have tried to give us some assignments and we have developed a lot of concepts. Yeah, another thing that he, now we have developed the skill and knowledge, we can prepare our own equipment which are simply then we can use everything. We have learned about the, to use the local environment materials to demonstrate an experiment. Very good. Which That's are great. not cost people. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's just a suggestion that if possible we are to add us even two weeks before. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank 
the Institute of Physics uh, personnel who are coming here, and also at the headquarters in in, in, in Britain, uh, that uh, for the support they are providing to our students, to Tanzanian schools, uh, for the uh, objective of improving teaching and learning physics in our country. This is the future for the project, and in that way we hope to get practical science teaching occurring all over Tanzania. Oui, monsieur. Monsieur. Monsieur.